Looking for some outfit ideas for your next cruise? Gonna be on a boat, but you're not quite sure what to wear from embarkation day to just chilling on the boat to what to wear to dinner and the captain's dinner? Then this video is for you. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, it is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shaped shorty style guru. One of my most popular videos has been cruise outfit ideas, so I wanted to do an update to it two years. Wow, I think it's actually three years. Three years later, what I would wear now on a cruise, especially knowing what I know, having actually been on the cruise, because when I shot that first video, here is a link to it. I hadn't even gone on the cruise yet, so I really didn't know what to expect. But now that I've been on the cruise, I can talk a little more about what exactly to wear, what to pack, some outfit ideas for you to look your best while you're on the boat, okay? As always, there are links in the description if there's a look you are absolutely loving or a piece you need to have. I get it because it's already in my closet, so I know. So I have links to all the pieces in the description. If there's something that's marked old or sold out, the link there is something that is both similar in price, quality, and of course, style. With that, let's get into some outfit ideas, what to wear on a cruise, how to slay in the sun on a boat, living your best life. Let's get into it. First up is embarkation day, and that is just a fancy way of saying the first day on the boat. The thing to keep in mind here, one is going to be the weather, and then two, what you actually plan to do. So if you're planning to be really chill, you wanna actually explore the boat, this first outfit is a great outfit for you. You have a crop top, you have some wide leg pants, super breathable, super breezy, will work for just about anything you're gonna find yourself getting into because you need to keep in mind, you're not gonna see your suitcase probably until five or six in the evening at best. So the outfit you're getting on the boat in is the outfit you're gonna be stuck in. So just keep that in mind. Um, as you're thinking about what to wear, this is super comfortable. You have the sneakers, you can easily walk around see what there is to see. I know on my cruise there was a casino, there was a club, there were definitely a bunch of different activities you can do, different decks, the spa, so there's a lot to explore and just see and take in. And that is really what I would recommend you do on the first day is take some time, familiarize yourself with the boat, how to get to your room, and just check out all the things that you can do. So this is a great outfit for that. It is breathable. I found that the boats were kept at a pretty reasonable temperature, so it wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold. So this will definitely be comfortable as you explore with a cute crop top and the wide leg pants. Of course, a simple bum bag. You don't need a really big bag in my experience because you really don't need much. Usually you get either a card or a bracelet to kind of track and charge things to your room. So the bag really is more for aesthetics than anything. Another easy outfit for embarkation day, especially if you think you might want to go swimming and be out in the sun, is a cute shirt dress, a nice hat, and then some really easy to get on and take off shoes. These ones are from Zara. So this is perfect. Again, if you want to do some exploring, but you also want to get out into the sun. When it comes to hats, I know you see the girlies in the huge wide brim hats. Here's what I'm going to say. If you want to take a photo in it, yes, but honestly, a more fitted bucket hat like this or even some visors are gonna be way more useful because of the wind. That's one thing I didn't expect a lot of was just how windy it could get on deck. So keep that in mind. Then the shirt dress, super easy. You don't have to go with a loud print like this. You can do something more neutral if that's your style. You can take it off, throw it to the side, jump in the pool, grab some rays, throw it back on, dry very easily. And again, having some shoes that you can easily take on and off and it's not a huge deal if they get wet. This is a really good outfit for embarkation day as well. This last embarkation day outfit idea is if you know you're gonna be in the sun, you're not even gonna bother going to your room, you don't wanna explore, you're ready to just get that tan girl, grab some drinks, sit back, relax by the pool or the hot tub. So in that case, if that's really what you wanna do, I just suggest throwing on a cute swimsuit. It doesn't have to be a one piece. I just really am partial to this Beyonce Ivy Park. What? The orange is amazing. And I paired it with my Hanifa skirt. So black owned shout out. This is, again, it's super perfect. The skirt comes off. You can go ahead and jump right in the pool, get nice, get wet, and you have the sandals so it's easy to put on. 
so they're easy to take on and off. The reason I suggest a mini skirt if you're gonna do a cover up versus a maxi skirt is just because when it's wet, one thing that I don't think a lot of people consider is when you're wet and then your skirt gets wet, it like clings to you and it just can be really awkward to kind of like try and move around and so I have found that a midi skirt or a mini skirt actually is like the best for a cover up especially if you're coming out of the pool and you're gonna be wet because it will still look flattering and even if it clings it doesn't restrict your movements too much like a maxi dress will and you just end up having to like carry the maxi skirt and things like that which was my experience on the cruise do not forget to pack sunscreen while they do have some on the boats it is expensive so please 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 make sure you pack some sunscreen protect your skin because you do not want to be that person who got sunburned the first day and just isn't feeling well and doesn't want to spend any time in the sun the rest of the trip so please keep that in mind Girl, if you are finding this video the least bit helpful, please do me a quick favor, hit that like button, the quick boop a loop boop a loop so that this video can reach other people who are looking for cruise outfit inspiration and they can get inspired just like you. Next, I wanna share with you some dinner outfit ideas, okay? So if you're going to the buffet, you don't really have to dress up too much. You could do a cover up, that's fine. But if you are going to sit at the nicer restaurants, they do ask that you're a little more covered. So I wanted to give you some outfit ideas for that. The first no fail outfit is a matching set i feel like you just cannot go wrong it is super comfortable it will be super breathable and it's just functional for me when i pack i talk about this often you want pieces you can easily mix and match and work for a lot of different occasions so a matching set especially one that's a little dressier can work not only for dinner but if you plan to go to the bar and to the club afterwards so this please say set from pretty little thing absolutely perfect i have this in a cream color as well i love it so much Super comfortable, super roomy, so you don't have to worry about looking bloated, not feeling, you know, comfortable. This hides everything while still looking sleek and put together. I have on some heels just because this is a longer set, but do not feel like you have to wear heels. On my cruise, I didn't wear heels at all. I didn't find it was necessary, but if you do want to put heels on, you absolutely can. I suggest packing, honestly, just one good pair of black heels. They will go with absolutely everything as I will show you throughout this lookbook. So keep that in mind. And again, we have the bum bag, really more for aesthetics again, because they gave us a key card. So I really just kind of kept that hidden in my bra, usually half the time or on a little wristlet. So again, if you're bringing a bag, at least to wear on the boat, it's more for aesthetics than anything. This is just another set idea in case you are a little bit more neutral girly. I wanted to show you this set I have had from Forever 21 for literally ever. It is a linen cotton blend, so super breathable, a little more posh, a little more put together. But I also paired it with those Zara sneakers that you saw from earlier, the Raffia style, just to show you a little more dressed down, but still nice outfit for dinner. And then I have this Bia's Raffia bag, again, more for aesthetics, but it just goes with the look in it in case you do want to carry anything like your phone and stuff with you, you have a bag for that. This has plenty of compartments, so this bag is great, not only for on the boat, but when you go on excursions, I really like this. I used this in my trip to Hawaii, which I have a vlog if you are at all interested in watching that and getting even more tropical outfit inspiration. So this is just another matching set. Like I said, I wanted to give you a second option, especially with the skirt, still dressy. And if it does get chilly, you can go ahead and pack a cardigan, either a short style or an oversized style, it's up to you. But I will say that I didn't find myself getting super chilly on the boat, unless it was really, really late at night and I was on deck. Another dressy dinner option is a really cute crop top and wide leg pants, similar to the embarkation day. And you're gonna notice a lot of these outfits are kind of similar, but you could easily mix and match. And that's really what I wanted to show you, that the base of the outfit, the concept of the outfits can be similar. And that will save you a lot of stress in terms of what to pack when you think like this. So again, it's this really nice crop top. I have this from Alexander Wang. And then some more fun pants. I decided to go with the print, these zebra print pants from Zara. Super comfortable, again, super breathable. I have on the black heels again just to show you you can have some versatility with a pack with a pair of black heels they will go with basically everything and then you don't have to worry about overpacking on shoes and the mango bag again more for aesthetics to add some additional texture very luxe but also very relaxed for dinner
Last but not least, a classic for dinner is a really good dress. Now I will say, you might not feel like a fitted dress makes sense, and I will say to pick a dress that does make sense for you. I personally love this dress from Zara. I feel like it is so flattering. I love the cut, and surprisingly, even when I do eat a lot, I don't look really, really bloated in a dress like this. But again, pack what makes sense to you. If you feel like a super fitted dress isn't the way to go, especially for dinner, think about a slip dress, consider a shirt dress, any kind of dress would be a great option. Again, you just want a little bit more coverage, I would say. But you can still be a little risque, you can still be sexy, you can still, you know, stretch your stuff. I don't want you to think that you can't. So that's why I wanted to share this dress again, something a little bit sexier, but still appropriate for dinner. Before we get into the rest of the looks, I am super curious, have you ever been on a cruise? If so, what was the cruise? What was your experience? If you haven't been on a cruise, I'm super curious, what is your dream cruise? Let me know in the comments below. I definitely am open to doing another cruise and I am trying to keep my eyes out on what would be my next cruise. One thing I didn't get to mention in my other video was the captain's dinner. We did not actually do this, but I did wanna give you just a couple of outfits that will work for the captain's dinner. So the matching set, the plissé set from Pretty Little Thing would be appropriate, but also I want you to consider something like this. This jumpsuit is absolutely breathtaking. It is so comfortable. I bought this for $10 from H&M back when I was in college. So think like 2012, right? So I've had this for a really long time and this turns out to be such a great event piece. It is comfortable, there's a lot of room, it's very floaty, and it just gives elegance, but it is very easy. You can style it with a belt if you're a little worried about looking bloated, or you can just leave it as is, or you can add a shrug. So there's a lot of ways you can style this to make it a little bit more formal if you wanted to, but even as is, it's such a great piece for the captain's dinner, which is a dressier event. The other option I wanted to give you was a very fun maxi dress. This is one of those tropical vacay dresses. I like to call these the iconic fit picks. Like, it's just a dress that makes a statement. So if you went in on the cottage core trend with some cute picnic dresses, or you just have something that's a little bit more elegant that you've been saving for maybe a wedding, this would be the perfect time to bust it out. So even if this kind of maxi dress feels like a lot to you, consider the Andrea Iyama dress. Something like that would also be very sleek, a little more fitted with the satin, but I love this because there's so much stretch in this material. It's so comfortable, it's so roomy. I don't have to worry about looking bloated, feeling bloated, feeling like the dress is too tight. There's a lot of room in this dress, even though it doesn't look like it. And the maxi dress, it just gives like the je ne sais quoi. It just always is a moment when you pick a maxi dress, in my opinion, especially for a special occasion. So this is another really great option for the captain's dinner. Last but not least, I wanted to give you some night out. What's where to the bar to get your drink on? What to wear to the club if you decide to go to the club? Just a couple of ideas that will work. This first one I feel like is gonna surprise you. So I have this very fitted mesh dress from Target of all places. I love the tiger print. But what I really love about this dress besides the fact that it's breathable is that you can wear underneath what makes the most sense for me. I have a romper on underneath and I love that because I get down on the dance floor. Okay, I like to twerk, I like to throw the booty cheeks. I love to dance and I'm gonna break up a sweat. But I also don't wanna have to worry about my butt coming out. I don't wanna accidentally flash anybody. So being able to wear a romper underneath this dress gives me that flexibility, gives me that freedom and really lets me enjoy the night. And if a romper isn't for you, you could do a really cute bralette and biker shorts underneath a mesh dress. So this would be absolutely perfect for the club, especially when they have like the parties on the deck. You're gonna break up a sweat, you wanna have a good time, but you don't wanna worry about, you know, flashing, flashing somebody. This is a really good option. A 
of course a fitted dress I wanted to bring the dress back from Zara this also would be a great option especially if you want to swap out the heels for some sandals and make it more comfortable this would be a great option as well obviously and that's why I showed the dress for dinner because it's something you could wear to dinner to grab drinks and then out again so this would be another really great outfit for the club running to the casino however you want to spend the night whether you're chilling and hanging out having some laughs kiki in with the girls or you about to dance on the dance floor last but not least another outfit idea just a crop top and some shorts okay you're feeling confident and again you want to dance you want that freedom you want to be able to move this is a great outfit for that again i am very functional on top of being cute of course because your girl likes to look cute but i want my clothes to also work for the occasion i do not like to have to constantly pull down my shorts my skirts my dresses so this is a really great outfit idea for that where you wouldn't have to struggle and worry about your butt cheeks coming out and showing everybody but it's still very sexy and again i wanted to give you also an outfit that didn't show heels because again you really don't have to like you can be comfortable so you have, if you have some cute platforms some cute flat forms some cute sandals that you want to wear don't feel like you have to put on heels especially if you're going to be drinking and you're on the boat not that the boat was crazy bumpy or anything like that and i personally didn't get any seasickness but for some people mixing alcohol with the boat situation can get a little dicey so you might want to play it safe and wear some shoes that are going to be more comfortable instead of worrying about stumbling around that is all the looks for what to wear on the boat if you want even more outfit inspiration Go ahead and watch my original video. Check out what I wore that was more planned on the actual cruise I was going on itself instead of more general ideas like this video. The other thing I urge you to check out is my actual cruise vlog. You can see not only what I wore, but my line sisters because I went with seven other girls. It was absolutely so much fun. So you can see not only what I wore, but what everyone else was kind of wearing on the boat as well to give you a better idea of what to wear and what's acceptable to wear while you're out on the boat. I hope you found this video super helpful. Give me give this video a thumbs up if you did that just helps this video reach more people help them get inspired as well which is really what i want to do because you deserve it i know you worked hard you saved your money you're ready to be on the boat ready to enjoy the drinks ready to dance ready to do what you do and i just want you to look the best while you do it so i really hope you found this video helpful you got some useful tips some advice things to consider that you might not have thought about before in terms of what to pack and what to wear on the cruise and why so again, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I absolutely appreciate you. With that, I will see you in a couple days with another video. Bye!